Ciao, I'm Eva and we're here today to cook the real pasta alla matriciana. The name Amatriciana came from uh, the city, the village of Amatrice, that is a small village in the center of Italy where this recipe was invented. To make our Amatriciana we need uh, one chale, then we are going to use uh, wall peeled uh, San Marzano tomatoes, we are going to use uh, some uh, white wine, uh, a small amount of uh, spicy pepper, we are going to use uh, pecorino and then we are going to use uh, the pasta. Which pasta we are going to use because always remember Chef Matters guys, so Today we are going to cook bucatini alla matriciana. This is what usually we do in Italy, from the north to the south, but the traditional recipe from Amatrice, if you still go there, they cook spaghetti alla matriciana. So if you want to cook spaghetti, that's okay for me, that's okay for all Italy. And if someone uh, say to you, ah, this is not the right pasta, you can always say, I'm uh, using, I'm respect the traditional recipe from Amatrice, where they cook spaghetti alla matriciana. Bucatino is a pasta that it can resemble a spaghetto, but it's not a spaghetto because the bucatino has a hole here. I don't know if you can see guys and this is uh, a very good pasta but uh, it's a tricky pasta because uh, usually when you eat the bucatini we Italians can understand from your shirt because all the sauce will be on your shirt because uh, it's very difficult to use the fork with that but uh, train uh, yourself exercise and you will get to the right point when you can eat bucatini alla matriciana without any problem. The first step to make our bucatini alla matriciana is to bring your pot of water to boil because this is a very quick sauce. Then we start to work on our guanciale and what we are going to do now is clean our guanciale from the skin. I'm cutting the guanciale in small pieces but don't cut it too small guys. Here I have a pan over medium meat and in this pan we are going to cook our guanciale. So right now what we need to do is wait that our guanciale release all the fat. As you can see our guanciale release the fat. So we are going to add our wine, but just a small amount of wine. And now we add some uh, spicy pepper. Uh, how much spicy pepper? This is, depends uh, from you guys, how much you can handle uh, the spice, uh, your Amatriciana spice. So be generous if you like it, uh, put a little bit if you don't like it. We let it simmer until uh, the alcohol uh, burns off. Around uh, one minute and a half, two minutes, no more. I'm going to crush uh, our uh, Wall peeled tomatoes. I'm going to add uh, some salt. Not too much because uh, the guanciale is uh, tasty and we don't want an hyper salty amatriciana. And we let our amatriciana sauce cook for about uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, no more. Our sauce is cooking for about five minutes, so because our bucatini will take uh, eight minutes to be al dente, I'm going to put the bucatini in the boiling water, but before remember always the salt. Don't be shy with the salt in the pasta water, otherwise your pasta will not taste, so. And now we just wait for our pasta to be ready. Maybe other two minutes. It's very important to taste everything you are cooking, like taste your sauce, taste your pasta, because uh, not just uh, you can see if they are uh, ready or not, but also 
you can understand if you need more salt. Now our pasta is ready, so we will transfer the bucatini in the amatriciana sauce and we mix the sauce with the pasta. Now we turn off the heat, we take our pecorino. Be generous with your uh, pecorino because uh, in Amatrice this is what they do. Mix well. Always uh, the heat is off guys because you don't mix the cheese when the heat is off, no? And our pasta alla matriciana is our bucatini alla matriciana, ready to go in our plate. More pecorino on top. And our bucatini alla matriciana are ready to be eaten. So guys, buon appetito! So Harper, uh, it's your lunch time. Uh, do you want some bucatini? Okay, let's see if I can eat this difficult to eat pasta without making a complete fool of myself. Wait, Arpel. Oh, grazie. This is the Italian way. Now, Arpel, buon appetito. That's not so hard to eat. And it's delicious. Buon appetito, guys. Buon appetito. If you enjoyed this recipe, hit the subscribe button. Follow us on social media at Pasta Grammar. And tag us if you try this recipe and want to show us a pic. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.